I'm doing a uh, YouTube channel called 3D Aero Ventures. I established it just last year in 2019. Um, and so what we do, I design and 3D print fully functional RC aircraft. So I'm designing everything in SolidWorks, um, both on their desktop platform and then also using their new 3D experience platform like X-Shape to do some of the more organic forms. Um, and then 3D printing, they're designed to be 3D printable and actually fly. And so we 3D print them on um, just basic desktop printer. So anybody with a hobbyist level printer at home can print these. Um, so they're designed into smaller parts with alignment aids to be glued together. And uh, you put just kind of standard RC hobby components in there, electric motors and, and servos, and, and they fly. And so I um, started out kind of doing my own concepts, and then I'm starting to do some more scale designs of, of uh, scale aircraft. I want each video to, to have kind of a lesson to it. And so a lot of times I'll share my failures as well. And, I see a lot of people on YouTube doing polished videos that everything looks like it's, if they're doing a project, it, it looks like it goes so well. But I also want to show my failures because that's true to life. Like you're going to fail and make a fool of yourself and um, I think it's important, those are important lessons there. That's when you learn. The population that are using 3D printing at home is getting bigger and bigger every year. Oh. And um, I think, I mean, it's, it's in the you know, hundreds of thousands spreading everywhere. I mean, at aerospace, it's, they're starting to use and use parts off of 3D printing and the automotive industry, yeah. Medical's been huge, they're printing organs and stuff like that, so yeah, it's, it's becoming big. And it's, um, I mean, as far as, you know, hobbyists or the home users, it is getting more accessible, but I think what's preventing it from really blowing up is the, the design side of things. So right now, I mean, if you don't know how to design your own parts in CAD. The, the uses are a little bit more limited. You can go on, there's websites where you can download parts to print, and, but it, you really can um, get way more out of the printers if you know how to design your own parts and, and solve your own problems that way. So. One of my biggest goals with the, with the channel and my whole brand is to embrace your inner child and don't kind of grow out of what you were passionate about as a kid. And so I've been doing model airplanes with my dad since I was 12, and um, so now I'm, I'm getting back into it with a little bit higher technology, and it's, uh, it's, I'm living the dream kind of right now with it.